Hey, it's Chris. Apple's calendar app is bare bones and there are way cooler options. And nope, I'm not talking about Fantastical or anything else you've heard about before. I am talking about some actually new, innovative, really useful apps like the ultra minimal Tweak Motion with its happiness focused AI powered algorithm, Routine, which is a calendar with notion like abilities and Track, which aims to make scheduling effortless. Now Apple's calendar app is fine. It's free, it's basic, it just works. It gets the job done, but it's really boring. The apps I'm about to show you, on the other hand, are gonna blow your mind in terms of what a calendar app can be. You might actually want to use a calendar app for the first time ever, so let's get into it. And just while we're talking about calendars and schedules, why don't you go ahead and pencil in some time to subscribe to the newsletter so you can get your Apple app and accessory discoveries put on autopilot. It's new, it's useful, it's free. I'm so excited about it linked up in the description. All right, now Tweak is the simplest calendar that we're gonna look at today, and it does something very interesting. It gets rid of the hourly view, and instead, it's built around a weekly calendar experience. Do you get the name now? Tweak, Tweak Week? Now, the result of getting rid of that hourly view is less stress, they say, and actually, I think I agree, I don't like that hourly view. So Tweak's actually inspired by good old paper planners, which don't have millions of templates. It's actually very minimal. So one effect of having this more lightweight calendar experience is that you might feel more focused because there's less features to distract you. Now that said, it's not feature free, so there's subtasks, there's checklists, shopping lists, notes, formatted rich text, along with a few other interesting features, one of which is really intriguing to me, that's the automation of recurring tasks. And interestingly, there's an option to print out their calendar template, which you could use to write a little reminder in there on Fridays to check out the Daily Tech Podcast. That's right, I'm getting all these mentions in today. <laughs> that's okay, we're trading. I'm giving you some valuable information and you're subscribing. The last thing I wanna point out about Tweak though is that it began its life as a spreadsheet, which is just kinda of interesting. The creators have been using this technique forever, but it morphed into an iPhone, iPad, and Mac app. Now this next app is gonna surprise you in terms of what it can do, but subscribers are not gonna be surprised that I was attracted to it because it's powered by AI, right? Subscribers already know I'm obsessed with Jasper, my favorite AI writing assistant, which I'll link up in the description for all you new people. But Motion's a calendar app that uses AI to automatically build your schedule, which is highly compelling to me. And you gotta love the marketing here. It says Motion is so good, it's like having 13 months in the year. So get rid of your to-do list, your calendars, and your project management tools, and meet Motion. It's the app that uses artificial intelligence to plan you and your team's day. So what it does is it takes your meetings, your tasks, and your projects, and it builds you the perfect daily schedule. So the promise here is this, automate planning and forget nothing. Save the equivalent of 30 days per year. Now it's all just marketing hype, obviously, but even if you save a little bit, like sometimes just saving a few minutes every day can be worth it because if something sticks in your mind is like that takes too much time, there's too much friction, something as simple as just planning something out, can really throw you off. Now this team is obviously very confident that you're gonna like their app. I can see why though, because it can do things like automatically rebuild your schedule when something unexpected comes up. So not only does Motion incorporate three proven productivity strategies, namely planning, deep work, and time blocking, but here's a calendar app of all things that calls its algorithm the happiness algorithm because it's designed to maximize your happiness and satisfaction while increasing your productivity. Now is Motion's AI smart enough to help you schedule some time to download a few daily tech wallpaper packs? I don't know if you can trust it for that. So you better take care of it yourself using the link down in the description. <laughs> now Motion is an absolute heavy hitter in this space, but don't make your decision yet. I've got two more insanely cool calendar apps to show you that might just earn your download. Routine is the next calendar app I wanna show you, and while AI is much less of a focus here because you're in complete control of your schedule, the killer feature here is unification. So it's got the ability to bring in everything you have going on from apps like Gmail, from Trello, from Slack, and over 4,000 other potential integrations and put them all together in one neatly organized and powerful console. So from email to chat to project management, there's just about no type of task that can't be imported here. And then there's also natural language input for capturing new items within the console. Now, one interesting feature here is the ability to save ideas as actionable notes. So it's almost like somebody stapled on Notion to a calendar app. <laughs> That's what this feels like. Now, AI does still play a role here in routine. 
So once you dial in your schedule, then Routines AI will protect your agenda and optimize your time through its smart scheduling feature. And importantly, for certain users out there, Routine has meeting features baked right in, so you're gonna get notified when that Zoom meeting is about to start, and you can just join through a single keyboard shortcut while also taking your actionable meeting notes. So if you're looking for a full featured hyper car of a calendar app that adds in planner, universal inbox and dashboard features, then give Routine a look. And speaking of taking a look, if you wanna take a look at the one and only course I've ever produced, which happens to have two free sections to preview, then check out the Crypto and Web3 for Absolute Beginners course, which isn't just about making money like everyone suspects, it's actually about explaining the future. And it's linked up in the description. Now, we're not done. I saved something absolutely incredible for the end here. It's called Track, and Track is to calendars what Superhuman aims to be for email. So for some context here, Superhuman bills itself as the fastest email experience ever made. So visually gorgeous with some AI superpowers. So that's a big claim there if you didn't realize because Superhuman has some of the most dedicated, loud, almost obnoxious fans. It's weird, I've never seen anything like that for a service or app before. And this thing's trying to play off that. All right, so Track's goal is to make scheduling effortless for high-performing professionals who live by their calendar and who value time. How, you ask? Well, scheduling is built right in with customization and with automatic time zone conversions. And that includes, quote unquote, effortless team scheduling. So if you work with a team of people and it's really hard and takes forever, lots of steps to get everyone to agree to a time, this solves that. It also features intuitive recurring invites, so you can seamlessly create a recurring Zoom call in under 12 seconds. Efficiency. And sort of like Tweak, which we talked about earlier, it defaults to that day view, which makes it easier to join calls with one click and also to quickly send some emails if you're gonna be running late. Like if you're late to subscribing to the Daily Tech Clips channel, then Track's not gonna help you at all. I mostly just wanted to mention that we have a Clips channel and it has lots of content that you probably have never seen before. All right, so you've seen all these great new options, but the question remains, which one should you get? And if you want a little help, here's what I would say. If you want something that is different, but it's simple and it's not gonna overwhelm you with a bunch of whiz bang features, then I would say, check out Tweak. On the other hand, if you find that you have about $34 laying around that you can light on fire every month, and you want the Rolls Royce of calendar experiences, and or you find that your lazy self just needs some help staying organized, <laughs> then check out Motion. By the way, for me, Motion is the most impressive thing on this list, but not because I'm super lazy, okay? Just because it's cool. It is expensive, but maybe it's worth it, and at least it offers a seven day free trial. On the other hand, if you really don't wanna go about replacing all your existing tools and apps and services, but instead you just wanna integrate them into one mega dashboard that's nice and convenient, then in that case, you should go with Routine. It's your best bet. And finally, if you're looking for a bespoke calendar experience that prioritizes speed, and it's not gonna make you learn a whole bunch of crazy new features, then you should check out Track. And I will just say, if you like the status quo, if you resist change at all costs, if you've been using an iPhone that hasn't been eligible for updates for like four years, or you just hate productivity, by all means, continue to use that Apple calendar. <laughs> and I'm just playing around. I do like that Apple's calendar is free. It just works. It's on all your devices, like I said, and also works with Siri. I mean, that's pretty convenient, right? But these are some good options. Hopefully you found something good. If you did, let me know down in the comments what is looking the best for you. Genuinely curious to see what people are picking. All right, but you know what? I'm really not in the mood to be done hanging out yet. I would love to have a continuing conversation, just kind of hang out, shoot the breeze, talk about what's new in Apple world, maybe who knows what else, kind of have an after party. I don't know if you remember this, but when the Daily Tech podcast got started, it was called the Daily Tech After Party. And we changed that up a little bit. We had a theme song, right? A rapper who was very talented made us a theme song. Brand new Mac, you know it's looking clean. It's the after party, live from the mountains. But the lyrics, you know, still talk about being live from the mountains and stuff. And we move, we're not by the mountains right now. And also the name change, it's just the Daily Tech podcast now. So, you know, that all went away, but I like the concept of the after party, right? Like what happens after the main content? So we're creating a new channel, actually. Instead of tacking on that extra content at the end of these videos, like we've been doing for a little bit here as an experiment, we're just gonna put that all in a new channel in a big long format video. And then we'll put the clips up on the clips channel so you guys can enjoy it however you want to. But 
let's go hang out. You guys go get subscribed to the new channel. I'll link it up down below. It's the Daily Tech After Party channel. And uh, I'll see you over there. Hey, it's Chris. Welcome to the After Party.